We looked up. The sky had changed. Everyone was running and screaming. And my father took hold of me. Stay here. Don't move. I've got to go out. I'm going to find your mother, but I'm coming back. I promise you. I'm coming back. I never saw him again. Nor my mother. They were never found. But out on the street, there was panic and burning. I went to the window. And there, in the sky, I saw it, Doctor. And it saw me. It stared at me. It looked right into me. It simply went away. I knew that night. I knew I would follow it. But not for revenge. What would be the point of that? <sighs> that's what makes you remarkable. And that's how you create history. What do you mean? Imagine it, Adelaide. If you began a journey that takes the human race all the way out to the stars. It begins with you. And then your granddaughter, you inspire her. So that in 30 years, Susie Fontana Brook is the pilot of the first light-speed ship to Proxima Centauri. And then everywhere, with her children and her children's children forging the way, to the Dragon Star, the Celestial Belt of the Winter Queen, a map of the Water Snake wormholes. One day, a brook will even fall in love with a Tandonian prince, and that's the start of a whole new species. But everything starts with you, Adelaide, from 50 years ago to right here, today. Imagine. Who are you?